Olympia Stadium here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. A series finale here in the 2017 season for UNLV as they take on the Mountain West leader San Jose State. I am Wyatt Tomczyk with the call. Final series for UNLV. The Rebels coming to this game 23 and 20. Rebels coming to this game 23, 11 and 5 away from home. They are 15 and 6 in the Mountain West. They have a chance possibly to clinch a Mountain West title this weekend here in Las Vegas. For UNLV, they will send out their ace, Morgan Edinger, the senior, one of two seniors being honored this weekend here at Ella Media Stadium under head coach Lisa Dodd, the other being Brianna Gatlin. Edinger on the year, a 3.34 ERA, bit of bad luck for the senior. Started the year 12-3, and her record now, though, 12-16. and This is her 37th appearance on the year, 28th game starts started. Uh, she has 16 complete games, 165 and two-thirds innings. She's given up 201 hits. 106 of them have been earned. 79 of those runs have been earned. 47 walks, 99 strikeouts. Opponent's batting average is 294. As UNLV will look to get the sweep here. Try to finish 500 on the year. As the first pitch is taken for a strike 0 and 1 to Emma Etzminger the junior third baseman batting 278 on the year 32 hits and 115 plate appearances one home run and 16 RBIs the next pitch and that one hit the third baseman so right away the Spartans will get a leadoff runner on base for Edinger, that is the 29th hitter she has hit on the year, and that will bring up the senior right fielder, number 42, Casey Watt. Watt on the year, batting 358, 53 hits and 148 plate appearances, one home run and 29 RBIs. Defenses in for UNLV. A first pitch, and that one is taken for a ball, 1-0. Defensively for UNLV, Janine Petmecki in left, Miranda Bueno in center, Brianna Gatlin in right field, Valdez is at third, Vela at short, Federi at second, Navarro at first, and Kylie Harrison behind the plate. As the 1-0 pitch from Edinger is taken for a ball 2-0. Watt on the year with runners on as a 365 average. Edinger with runners on. Opponent's batting average is 263 as that one is taken in the inside for a strike two and one. Edinger's ERA at 3.21. Tenth best in the Mountain West, but has had about every bad luck scenario happened to her. Has pitched some good games, but those one or two costly errors have hurt the senior who is looking to be a contender for Mount West Pitcher of the Year with a 12 and 3 record. A 2 2 pitch is a big swing and a miss strike three. First strikeout on the day for Edinger, and that gives her 100 strikeouts on the year. One out, runner on first. Cassidy Clark will be up to bat, the freshman second baseman, batting 383 on the year, 49 hits and 128 plate appearances, two home runs and 24 RBIs. Runner goes, that one has popped up. Navarro over the shoulder catch. She's got it. What a play there by the first baseman. Looked like Willie Mays out there. Dirties up the black uniforms. Two quick outs. For UNLV, what a great play defensively by Alyssa Navarro. Yeah, she was coming in, looked like a bunt attempt. As that will now bring up the first baseman, number 13, Madison Arin. First pitch is taken for a ball, 1-0. Arin on the year, 362 average. She has 59 hits and 163 plate appearances, two home runs, and 30 RBIs. That one is popped up 
into shallow center field. Bueno comes in, clamps that one down, and that will end the inning as San Jose State gets one runner on but can't get anything across the board. We head to the bottom of the first. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. A beautiful day. Summer is approaching. Temperatures are hovering around 90 degrees. As UNLV will be up to bat for the first time in this game, Janine Petmecki will be up to bat. The left fielder, Junior, batting 340 on the year. Best average for UNLV. 51 hits and 150 plate appearances, 3 home runs, and 28 RBIs. As she takes the second pitch for a ball, 2-0. Caitlin Linford is the starting pitcher for San Jose State, and she's been on a tear. A 2.43 ERA, 22-7 is her record. And the 2-0 pitch is taken for a strike, 2-1. This is the 28th game she has started on the year. She has 16 complete games, pitched 187 and a third innings, 165 hits, 78 runs, 65 of them have been earned, 31 walks to an amazing ratio here. 183 strikeouts. Opponent's batting average is 183 or 233 as Janine Petmecki will bump that up a little bit as she sends that one in the left field for a base hit. The left fielder gets on base with their 52nd hit on the year. And just like San Jose State did in the top of the first, UNLV gets their leadoff runner on base for Brianna Gatlin, one of the two seniors being honored this weekend, senior weekend. Gatlin. The right fielder batting 329 on the year, 48 hits and 146 plate appearances, four home runs, 25 RBIs. Gatlin in her lone year at UNLV. The first pitch to Gatlin, she will foul that one back our way. Count goes to 0-1. San Jose State, if they... Hope to clinch today. Need a win and a San Diego State loss. Currently, right now, in the bottom of the fifth, San Diego State is up 9-5 to on UNR. The 0-1 pitch to Gatlin, way outside. 1-1 one one is the count. On deck for UNLV is Alyssa Navarro. The 1-1. One one. That one is fouled back into the net. One and two. First time we've been on air in a while here at Eller Media Stadium. The Mountain West tournament was going on during the Fresno State Series. Unfortunately, we weren't able to broadcast that, but we were able to get at least two games here. As that one is taken outside for a ball two and two, we will have tomorrow's call, but we will not have Saturday's call, unfortunately. A couple of our Workers here on the live stream are graduating college. Congratulations to them as they adventure out into the big world. The 2-2 pitch, and Gatlin gets underneath one, skies it up to third. That one is dropped by the third baseman, Etzminger. That one was an easy routine play, and Brianna Gatlin is given a gift there. She'll have another opportunity to try to move Janine Petmecki over. That will most likely be an error for San Jose State.
Janine Petmecki on first. She reached on a single to left. A pitch from Linford, and that one is taken high for a ball. Count now full three and two. You know, be coming into this game. I mean, the struggles offensively. Next to last is that is a chopper over to third in foul territory. We'll do it all over again. And the major departments batting average 268. That is eighth best in the Mountain West. Runs 185. That is ninth. Hits 348. That is eighth best. Home runs 21. Ninth. As the 3 2 pitch from Linford he has popped up out of play. Gatlin fighting hard here in the bottom of the first. Do up for San Jose State will be the five, six, and seven hitters. Linford on the year with runners on. His opponent's batting average is 244. The next pitch. That one is set into right field for a base hit. Two straight hits to open up the game for UNLV. Petmecki advances to second. And that will bring up Alyssa Navarro. The slugging first baseman, Junior, batting 256 on the year. 32 hits in 125 plate appearances. Seven of those 32 hits have been home runs. That is most for UNLV on the year as the air by Etzminger comes back to haunt San Jose State here in that at bat. As the Spartans looking for first out in this inning. That one is taken inside for a ball. 1-0 oh, Navarro on the year. Seven home runs. That is tied for 11th in Mountain West play. A 1-0. Oh, that one is popped up a mile high. It will get out of play into the stands just over the net. Count goes to 1-1. One one. San Jose State, since April 9th, have only lost one game. That was at Fresno State. They've been on a tear. Winners of nine straight. The 1-1 one one from Linford. Bunt attempt, and Navarro fouled that one back. Count now 1-2. and two. They've won 12 of their last 13. Actually, check that. That is an eight-game winning streak. As Navarro pops this one up in the left field. The left fielder, Jenner, coming in. Clamps that one down. And that is the first out of the inning as she sprints all the way into the infield to hand it back to her pitcher. Big out number one for San Jose State. As that will bring up... Justine Federi, the second baseman. Federi on the year, batting 287. 27 hits and 94 plate appearances. Three home runs and 13 RBIs to her name in her first season here at UNLV. UNLV donning the All Blacks today. San Jose State, yellow tops, white bottoms. First pitch is a big swing and a miss for a strike. 0 and 1. Federi on the year with runners on, 245 average. Runners in scoring position, 233. Linford coming into this game, a 2.43 ERA. That is fourth best in the Mountain West. The 0-1. That one is taken for a strike. Count now 0-2. Kylie Harrison on deck for UNLV. Linford also second in innings pitched, 187. That one is chopped to short. They will tag Petmecki out at third, get the lead runner out. Petmecki did her best to get out of that jam, but could not avoid the tag of Drake. That is the second out of the inning. UNLV trying to answer first against the Mountain West leaders. Got Petmecki and Gatlin on with two straight singles, but Caitlin Linford coming back. 
looking to get out of this inning with no runs given up as Kylie Harrison will be up to bat. Harrison on the year, a 222 hitter. That one is on the outside for a strike, 0 and 1. Harrison, a sophomore, 26 hits and 117 plate appearances, one home run and 15 RBIs. The 0 1. That one is chopped back to Linford. She's got it. Underhands it over to first, and that will end the inning as UNLV gets two runners on but can't get anything across the board. We head to the top of the second. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. In the top of the second, San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Morgan Enger back out for her second inning of work. As Brittany Abotchlery will be up to bat for the Spartans. Batting 230 on the year, the junior center fielder. 32 hits and under 39 plate appearances, four home runs, and 20 RBIs. The first pitch, or the next pitch, by Edinger is taken for a ball 2-0. Update the score with San Diego State and UNR. San Diego State had a 9-5 lead. Reno has gotten three straight runs. It is now 9-8 in the bottom of the fifth. Two outs, runners on second and first as the 2-0 pitch is taken into the streets. 2-1. Important for San Jose State. If San Diego State loses and San Jose State wins, and San Jose State is your 2017 Mountain West softball champions. UNLV currently right now tied for last with New Mexico as the 2-1 pitch is inside 3-1. and one. Jenner on deck for San Jose State. A bachelor is set. Edinger is set. The 3 1. Check swing. Did she go? She did. Started to get the little strut over to first, thinking that it was a walk by Edinger, but it is a strike. Now 3 and 2 is the count. Edinger has one strikeout on the day. 100 strikeouts for the senior. That has her fourth in the Mountain West, and that one is called strike three on the corner. Edinger, second strikeout of the game. A botulary did not like that call as she struts back over to her dugout, gave a smile to the home plate umpire. As that will bring up the left fielder, Chelsea Jenner. 
Jenner on the year. Senior batting 366 on the year. 41 hits and 112 plate appearances. The first pitch from Edinger. That one is sent into foul territory into the trees as Navarro giving chase. Navarro already had a nice over overhand catch in the top of the first in foul territory. San Jose State, who is projected to finish third in Mountain West. Trying to prove that by two. Check swing. Did she go? She did. Now the count is 0-2. Oh UNLV was projected tied for sixth. The 0-2 pitch. That one is fouled into the net. Count remains 0-2. San Diego State trailing San Jose State. Their record 13 and 8 in Mountain West play, 29 and 17. The 0 2 pitch is swung on a missed strike three. Edinger has her third strikeout of the game. Two outs now here in the top of the second. And the senior is dealing here. And senior weekend for her, her last time playing at Eller Media Stadium. Kristen Heffley will be up to bat. The designated player, number 24, a sophomore, batting 212 on the year. 21 hits and 99 plate appearances, one home run and 10 RBIs to her name. The first pitch is taken low for a ball, 1-0. UNLV faced San Diego State last weekend, lost all three games, 5-3-9-1 and 8-6. As that one is sent to left field, Petmecki takes one step in. She's got it, a 1-2-3 inning for Morgan Enninger and UNLV. We head to the bottom of the second. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Wyatt Tomchuk with the call. Final series in the 2017 season. Softball action between UNLV and San Jose State. Morgan Edger had a fine top of the second, struck out two batters. As Charlie Masterson will be up to bat for UNLV. Masterson on the air, 212 average. The freshman designated player, first pitch she takes is a strike. 0 and 1 for Masterson. 11 hits and 52 plate appearances. She has four RBIs to her name. The 0-1 from Linford, and that one is taken for a strike 0-2. Linford looking for her 23rd win on the year. That would give her a tie for first in the Mountain West. She's also second in the Mountain West and saves with four as a check swing from Masterson. Did she go? First base umpire says no. Count one and two. Linford is set the pitch. And that one is low for a ball. Two and two. UNLV got two runners on in the bottom of the first. Singles by Petmecki and Gatlin, but couldn't get anything across the board uh, against the Mountain West leaders. I'll try to strike first here. The 2-2. Masterson will send that one to left field. 
at the warning track. That one is caught by Jenner. That's the first out here in the bottom of the second. As that brings up Emily Vela. A freshman, the shortstop, batting 217 on the year. 10 hits in 46 plate appearances. Two RBIs to her name. Vela saw a lot of action at the beginning of the year. Starting to see more action towards the end. And head coach Lisa Dodds line up. The first pitch to the freshman is taken for a strike 0-1. Oh the next pitch is a little chopper to third. Etzminger has it. Fires it over to first in time. And two quick outs here in the bottom of the second for the Spartans. And that will bring up the sophomore center fielder, Miranda Bueno, who's had a good year so far, batting 307 on the year, 35 hits and 114 plate appearances, one double, one triple, and 10 RBIs to her name. A dead series between UNLV and San Jose State as that pitch is taken for a ball 1-0. UNLV leads 42-21, to but they've had head coach Lisa Dodd's number as of late, 3-7. and seven. Is her record. The 1-0 pitch, and Bueno will foul that one back. Count 1-1. One one. Tomorrow's game, May 12th, Friday, will be 6 p.m., we will have the call here on the Mountain West Network. And then UNLV finishes off Senior Day, May 13th at 11 a.m. Unfortunately, we will not have the call as our producer, Luis, is graduating. Hopefully, he'll be all smiles as that one is swinging a miss. Count one and two. The one two, Bueno shows bunt, pulls back, and that one is chopped back foul. One and two remains. Two outs in the inning. Valdez on deck for UNLV. Do up for San Jose State. In the top of the third will be the eight, nine, and one hitters. The one two. Bueno sends that one right to the third baseman. Etzminger, easy play for her, and that will end the inning. One, two, three inning for Linford as we head to the top of the third. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Top of the third, good pitching performances between Edinger and Lindford. Edinger so far has had three strikeouts on the day. Lindford, besides the two singles, was able to get out of the jam in the bottom of the first at 1-2-3 inning. In the bottom of the second, as the first pitch is taken for a strike, 0-1 to Alyssa Avila. Or Avila. Check that, sorry. The 0-1 pitch. 
That one is on the inside. 0-2. The sophomore catcher. Avila batting 255 on the year. 24 hits and 94 plate appearances. One home run and 21 RBIs. The 0-2 pitch. That one is taken high for a ball. 1-2. and two. UNLV looking for the sweep here to finish and even 500. They have not been able to do that in the first four years with head coach Lisa Dodd. In the first year, she was 21 and 31, 26 and 28 the next, 25 and 30 the last two. As that one is on the outside for a ball, two and two. On deck is the shortstop, Drake. The 2 2. Check swing. Did not go around. Count now full three and two. San Jose State, not a dangerous hitting team. They've really been able to get great pitching performances. It's been the big reason why they are first in the Mountain West is that one is way outside for ball four, and Edinger walks her first batter of the game. Second base runner San Jose State has gotten. They got a leadoff runner in the top of the first. And they'll do it yet again here in the top of the third. 48th walk on the year for Edinger. As Mackenzie Drake will be up to bat the shortstop. Freshman batting 182 on the year. Eight hits in 44 plate appearances. She has six RBI. She shows bunt. Defense comes charging in. Takes a strike. 0-1 is the count. Etzminger will be on deck for the Spartans. The 0-1. That one is sent to second. Federi has it. Throws it over to short. Vela bobbled it just a little bit. Safe at first, but they do get the lead runner out at second. Could have been an opportunity for a 4-6-3 double play, but Vela was a little slow getting the ball out, trying to fire it over to first. But nonetheless, UNLV does get an out, and that will bring up Emma Etzminger. Etzminger was hit by a pitch to lead off the game. A third baseman with runners on on the year, batting 254. As that one is taken for a strike. 0 and 1. Updated score in the bottom of the six. San Diego State is up 9 to 8 on UNR. No outs, runner on first. And that pitch by Edinger is taken low for a ball. 1 and 1. Watt on deck for. San Jose State do up for UNLV in the bottom of the third. It'll be the 9-1 and 2 hitters, Valdez, Petmecki, and Gatlin. And that one is fouled over the San Jose State dugout. Count now 1 and 2. As we mentioned, San Jose State their batting average 303, very good per se as a team, but you look at the ERA, 2.94. They've had nine shutouts as that one is taken for a ball, two and two. Strikeouts, 259. UNLV right now at 156. Offensively, they, San Jose State has 402 hits as that one is sent to second. Federi has it, throws it to second. Vela covering. Dangerous play there as Federi tried to tag out the runner, missed, but gets the lead out. Two outs now in the inning. Drake out at second. Etzminger is safe at first, and that will bring up Casey Watt, the right fielder, struck out in her first plate appearance. First pitch. That one is taken low for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Runner on first. Two outs. A 1-0. Oh. That one is popped up. Edinger's got it. She clamps that one down, and that will end the inning. And San Jose State got a runner on but couldn't get anything across the board. We head to the bottom of the third. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero.
Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium. In the bottom of the third, a scoreless game between San Jose State and UNLV. Jadalyn Udal Valdez will be up to bat. The speedster third baseman, Jr., batting 297 on the year, 33 hits and 111 plate appearances. Defense is in as Valdez takes the first pitch for a ball. 1 0. Valdez does not hit the ball very far, but she is very quick. The slightest hiccup by a defender, she is safe by a mile. The 1-0 pitch is a chopper to short. Drake has it, fires it to first, not in time. There you mentioned the slight hiccup. Drake had to jump high for that one, and Valdez just beat that one out. The third hit of the game for UNLV, though, being, bring it back to the top of the lineup. For the left fielder, Janine Petmek, he was 1-for-1 one one on the day. She led off the bottom of the first with a single to left. As UNLV will try to get something against the ace for San Jose State, Caitlin Linford. With runners on today, UNLV 1 for 4. 0 for 3 with runners in scoring posi positions. Pet Mackey will send that one out of play. Count goes to 0 1. You look at it for Janine Pet Mackey coming back next year for UNLV. Could be the senior leader on the team. She has been one of the best hitters the past couple years for head coach Lisa Dodd. The 0 1 pitch from Linford, and that one is. Taken for a strike, 0-2. Valdez over at first on the year, 11-13. and 13. With Stolen bases on the year. Valdez, another one of those juniors. Be the senior leaders. That pitch is taken high for a ball, 1-2. and two. UNLV, only two seniors on the year. They had Quinn Cooper at the beginning of the year, but Cooper took a red shirt. The one two. Pet Mackey will foul that one back. Count remain. And hopefully one of the star players last year, one of the up and comers that we thought could be dominant in the next couple of years, Ali Battistini, suffered an injury and she was lost for the year. Hopefully she can get back to her dominant ways as she was her, her freshman year when she was named Mountain West Pitcher of the Week at one point. You have a staple for head coach Lisa Dye because the big question will be how do you replace Morgan Edinger, your ace, who's done a lot of the work load this year in the 2017 season as Pet Mackey will foul this one off yet again. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. Good at bat here by the junior. On deck is Brianna Gatlin. This year UNLV had to replace five seniors, all of them very talented hitters, Gary Blando, Alyssa Cordova, Jamie DePippo, Emily Hasingler as Valdez is going. The throw is in time. Beautiful throw by Avila as she gets out the speedster Valdez. Only the third time on the year Valdez has been caught stealing and that hit UNLV got is erased. Two outs now in the inning. As Petmecki also Struck out on that play as well. So a strike him out, throw him out. Brianna Gatlin will be up to bat. Gatlin, one for one on the day. As that one is taken for a strike. Owen one. Gatlin was given a gift by Etzminger at third when she dropped a very routine pop up in foul territory. A 0 1 pitch. Gatlin will send that one right to the third baseman. She bobbles it, flips it over to first. Close play, but Gatlin is out, so UNLV gets one hit but can't get anything across. We head to the top of the fourth. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero.
Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in the top of the fourth. Good pitching matchup between Morgan Edinger and Caitlin Linford. Edinger has not given up a hit through three innings as Cassidy Clark will be up to bat. The second baseman is 0 for 1 on the day. Three hits for UNLV. As the first pitch is taken for a strike. 0 and 1. UNLV got a runner on with Valdez, but a strike him out, throw him out. Pet Mecky struck out. And Valdez was thrown out trying to steal second, trying to get in a scoring position for the Rebels. The 0 1. That one is popped up into foul territory. Navarro giving chase, but it just goes out of play. Count goes to 0 and 2. It'll be 3 4 and 5 hitters for the Spartans. Update on that game at San Diego State against UNR. San Diego State has gotten a run in the top of the seventh. is now 10-8. As that is a check swing, that ball goes to the net foul. Mentioned San Jose State was projected to finish third in the Mount West preseason coaches poll. Fresno State was projected to be the winner, but down year for the Bulldogs as that one is sent into left a right center field. Gatlin clamps that one down. First out of the inning. Both Gatlin and Bueno giving chase, but Gatlin got there first. One out. Avengers looking good right now. Three and a third. No hits given up. As Madison Arin will be up to bat. The first pitch to Arin is taken for a strike, 0-1. Oh a run on the day, popped up to center in the first inning. Next pitch is taken high for a ball, 1-1. One one. San Jose State has gotten a couple runners on. But they are 0-6. for 6. They had leadoff runners in the top of the first and the third, but Edinger done a good job so far. A 1-1 one -one pitch. That one right to Valdez at third. Good play there by the junior third baseman. Keeps the no-hitter alive. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Arin really gave that one a rocket, but Valdez. Perfect play sometimes, you know, you hit the ball hard, but you hit it right to a defender. As Brittany Abachelori will be up to bat. First pitch is taken for a strike, 0-1. Abbasari was caught looking in the second inning. The 0-1 pitch, that one is fouled out of play. Count goes to 0-2, two, two outs in the inning. Do up for UNLV in the bottom of the fourth. Will be the 3-4-5 and five hitters, Navarro, Federi, and Harrison. The 0-2, that one fouled back yet again. Jenner on deck for the Spartans. We talked about Fresno State kind of in a down year. They are currently fourth as that one is taken for a ball. One and two, fourth in Mountain West play, 12 and eight is their record two and a half games behind overall record 32 and 20 they've been in the class of the field the last couple of years UNLV gave them a tough fight the last home series but that one is a check swing did not go around two and two lost six to four in nine innings extra innings and then lost three nothing then four three heartbreaking series for UNLV really played well but it's been kind of the theme in those close games, it's just one little mistake has been costly for the Rebels on the year. The 2-2 pitch, that one is popped up. Federi under it. And a 1-2-3 inning for Morgan Edinger and UNLV. We head to the bottom of the fourth. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero.
Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada in the bottom of the fourth. Rebels and San Jose State are tied at zero as Caitlin Lindenford will head back out for her fourth inning of work. Alyssa Navarro will be up to bat for UNLV. Navarro 0 for 1 on the day. Big swing and a miss. Uh, open up the bottom of the fourth. Linford so far, three innings, three hits, no runs, no earned, no walks, one strikeout. Her pitch count right now is at 40. The 0 one That one is taken high for a ball one and one. On deck for UNLV is the second baseman, Fideri. The 1-1. One -one. And that one is fouled into the screen. One and two. You know, be coming to this game 23 and 26. Here at Eller Media Stadium, 13 and 11. And a decent first couple months of the year, but April is really where it hurt them. They were 4 and 10, as that one is taken for high for a ball, 2 and 2. Another stat that really hurts UNLV when trailing, as that one is chopped over to short. Drake stumbling, throws it to first, not in time. Tough play there by the shortstop, Drake. And she was stumbling, almost fell, trying to throw that ball. Took a run off of first, and Navarra will reach on a base hit. Fourth hit for UNLV. Looks like we might have a pitch runner for head coach Lisa Dodd. Looks like that is number eight. Kylie Rasmussen will pitch run. Try to get into scoring position. Try to get UNLV something going here. They got the first two runners on in the bottom of the first, but Linford was able to get out of that pickle as Justine Federi will be up to bat. Federi reached on a fielder's choice in the first inning. The first pitch, that is a swing and a miss for a strike. 0-1. You look at it after four innings, UNLV 17 and 2, trailing after four innings though, 2 and 21. You know, V has not been the comeback kids this year. Tied after four innings, they are 4 and 3, as that is a bun attempt beautifully placed. The first baseman has it, fires it over to first in time, but Rasmussen will head over to second in a scoring position. A beautifully placed bunt there by Federi. Who's the runner in a scoring position for the catcher, Kylie Harrison? It was a run to Clark. Harrison on the day, 0 for 1. The lefty is set. The first pitch to her by Linford is taken for a ball, 1 and 0. Harrison with runners in scoring position, 273, with runners on 258. The 1-0. That one is taken low for a ball, 2-0 oh. on deck is Charlie Masterson. And you see the numbers painted for Brianna Gatlin and Morgan Enninger done by the arch rivals to the UNLV equipment staff, the UNLV Game Ops who robbed the UNLV equipment staff of a win in our head-to-head -head basketball matchup as that one is taken for a strike, 2-1. If you cannot tell, I'm part of the equipment staff. It's frustrating. Game Ops using an eligible player, and he hit the three to win it. Shot did the father, son, Holy Spirit. As that one is sent into left field, Jenner is there. And a big out number two for San Jose State. Rasmussen has to stay over at second. And Masterson will try to give UNLV its first lead of the game or try to extend this inning. Masterson flew out to Jenner in the second inning in left field. UNLV four hits so far, none for San Jose State. Yeah, that is a swing and a miss for a strike 0-1, and, and if San Jose State does win, they won't clinch, clinch the Mountain West Championship here at Ella Media Stadium as San Diego State holds on to 11-9 victory over UNR. 
San Jose State up two games on the Aztecs. And that one is taken for a ball, one and one. Vela on deck for UNLV. Rasmussen is at second. Pitch running for Navarro, who reached on an infield single as there's a swing and a miss, strike two. And for looking for a second strikeout of the day, has 184 strikeouts. One of the best pitchers in the Mount West. The one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is the second strikeout for Linford as UNLV gets a runner in his scoring position. But nothing across the board. We head to the top of the fifth. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Back here live in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, Thursday night. Softball action between San Jose State and UNLV. A great pitching performance going on. Morgan Edinger for UNLV looking for her 13th win on the year, trying to break a long losing streak. Four innings, no hits, no runs, no earned, one walk, three strikeouts. As that one is sent to third, Valdez has an easy play. One pitch, one out here in the top of the fifth. It was Jenner who sent that one over to third. As that will bring up Kristen Heffley, a designated player who's 0 for 1 on the day. And you look at Edinger started 12 and 3 on the year. Right now 12 and 16, but a lot of that hasn't been her fault. Has really had some great gains, but just some bad luck. One or two bad plays that really hurt Edinger and UNLV. It just really hasn't gotten the run support in some of those games. Count is 1-0 and oh, the pitch. Swing and a miss for a strike, 1-1. One and one. Enninger has been the workhorse for head coach Lisa Dodd. 165 innings coming into this game right now, 169. Next closest is Brianna Burke at 53. Yeah, there's another big swing and a miss for a strike. One and two. Avila on deck for San Jose State. The one, two. That one is taken high. Good eye there by Hefley. Count two and two. One out in the inning. Do it for UNLV in the bottom of the fifth. Emily Vela, Bueno. And Valdez, the 7, 8, and 9 hitters for UNLV. We've gotten four hits so far, but nothing across the board. The 2 2 pitch way inside, 3 and 2. That got Hefley a duck out of the way there. Enninger has hit one batter so far. That was Etzminger at the beginning of this game to lead off the top of the first, to be honest. The 3 2 pitch. That one, strike three. Got her looking. Fourth strikeout for Morgan Enninger. She is rolling right now in the top of the fifth. Two outs now. As that will bring up Alyssa Avila. Alyssa Avila. 
Avila on the day. Walked in her first plate appearance. The pitch. That one is popped up. Edinger. Ooh, Valdez comes in. She takes it away from Edinger. Almost a collision there, but a quick eat. Quick, easy inning for Edinger and UNLV. A 1-2-3 inning as we head to the bottom of the fifth. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Welcome back to LMD Stadium. I'm Wyatt Tomchek with the call here. A good game so far. Great pitching performances by Edinger and Linford as UNLV up to bat here in the bottom of the fifth. Emily Vela will lead off for the Rebels. The Rebels have gotten four hits off of the ace for San Jose State. They haven't really had the timely hitting, the clutch hitting that they've wanted, but Morgan Edinger has really shut down San Jose State. The Mountain West leaders coming into this game, 35-15 and 15 are the Spartans' record, 23-26 and 26 for UNLV as the first pitch to the shortstop. Vela is taken outside for a ball 1-0. Vela on the year while leading off has a nice average of 364. A 1-0. Swing and a miss for a strike 1-1. One one. The Vela, Bueno, and Valdez, 7-8-9 hitters. One, two, and three hitters have been the bright spot in the lineup for UNLV so far. Petmecki, Gatlin, and Navarro combined are three for six. The one-one pitch, Vela sends a bunt back into the net. Count goes to one and two for San Jose State in the top of the six. It will be the nine, one, and two hitters, Drake, Espinger, and Watt. UNLV so far with runners on one for seven. But with runners in scoring position, 0 for five. They got Kylie Rasmussen, who was pitch running over to second, but stranded her there. The one-two pitch. That one called strike three. Second strikeout. The third strikeout for Linford on the day. One out. And that will bring up the center fielder, Miranda Bueno. Bueno, 0 for 1 on the day. She lined out to third in the second inning. Bueno will foul that one back 0-1. And, and we mentioned San Jose State, decent hitting team, but it's been the pitching so far that's really propelled them to the top. Their earn run average is first in the Mountain West. Opponent's batting average is second. The batters they've struck out, 262. That is first in the Mountain West. And that one is taken for a ball 1-1. That's been the struggle for UNLV. They've gotten decent pitching performances on the years. The 1-1 pitch. That one is sent over into right field for a base hit. Bueno gets her first hit of the game. A diving attempt by the second baseman, Clark. But just out of her reach, fifth hit on the day for the Rebels. They got something going yet again. They will now bring up the speedster, Valdez. Valdez on the day, one for one. She got an infield single in the third over at short. It was a high chopper, Drake. Any other normal player, she would have gotten out. But Valdez, and she lines this one in the left field. Jenner charges in as she was playing shallow, has it. Two outs, one pitch, one out. And that brings the top of the lineup for UNLV for Janine Petmecki, who led off the bottom of the first with a single to the left. She is one for two on the day. 
Pemeki on the year, 333 with runners in scoring position. Two outs, 311. The first pitch, swing and a miss, or swing and a foul back. Count 0 1. And you look at it, what UNLV has to improve on when they're looking at it next year when they return. Almost everybody, only losing two seniors. Brianna Gatlin, a very good hitter. Morgan Edinger, their ace, has the 0 1 pitch. Petmecki will send that one into center field for a base hit. Petmecki has her second hit of the game. And that puts runners on second and first with two outs for the. As we mentioned, the senior, Brianna Gatlin, one of two seniors being honored this weekend. Gatlin on the day, one for two. She singled in the first and then grounded out to third in the third inning as UNLV trying to strike first here against Caitlin Linford. We look at it for UNLV. They return the majority of their roster. As the first pitch is a swing and a miss for a strike. That'll be led by Janine Petmecki. Alyssa Navarro will be coming back. She has seven home runs on the year. They got to improve. You look at it, the major hitting departments for the Rebels, either eighth or last in the major batting average. Runs, hits, home runs, doubles, triples, as that one is taken high for a ball one and one. There's something that UNLV will hope to improve on and improve their record next year as that one is taken for a strike one and two because when you return all but two players from the previous year barring transfers or anything like that, you tend to have a lot of positive momentum coming into the next year. Girls have gelled with each other for at least a couple years now as the one-two pitch, that one is sent to short. The throw over to first in time, and that will end the inning as UNLV gets two hits. But nothing across the board. We hit to the top of the six. Spartans and the Rebels are tied at zero. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in the top of the six. San Jose State and UNLV are tied at zero. Morgan Enninger out for her sixth inning of work. No hits so far given up by the senior. And that one is taken for a ball one and no. Obviously, everyone listening probably wants me to shut up when I say that. Don't want to jinx. As Mackenzie Drake, the shortstop, will be up to bat. Drake reached on a fielder's choice in the third inning as that one is inside for a ball two and no. Oh. UNLV yet again had a good opportunity. Uh, two straight singles, runners on second and first. Still nothing across the board as Kaitlin Linford is matching Morgan Edinger pitch by pitch here. The 2 the two zero. that one inside for a strike, 2-1. and one. Edinger so far, pitch count is at 57, four strikeouts on the day. The 2-1. That one outside, 3-1. and one. 
A big loss for UNLV. We'll be losing the senior Edinger, who's been the workhorse for head coach Lisa Dodd. You look at it, Brianna Burke has pitched 53 innings. Charlie Masterson has had 47 innings. Mara Kemmer has had 39 innings. They are all freshmen as that one is taking ball four. And the leadoff batter for San Jose State reaches on a walk. The second walk given up by Edinger. And that will be the top of the lineup for San Jose State. Emma Etzminger. 0 for 1 on the day. She was hit by a pitch in the first and then reached on a fielder's choice. And we got a little note from the San Jose State SID for softball. For Etzminger, that was the 16th time she was hit by a pitch that ties a single season record. As she sends a bunt attempt, Navarro has it, fires it over to first in time. So Etzminger does her job, advances Drake over to second in the scoring position. One out here in the top of the six as that will bring up Casey Watt. The right fielder, Watt on the day, 0 for 2. We look at it, as we mentioned, the pitching for head coach Lisa Dodd. They've used three freshmen that have gotten a lot of experience. They've had some decent moments, some learning moments as well, as the first pitch is on the inside, 1-0. and Those learning moments, and also hopefully you can get what would have been a pretty good duo between Edinger and Ali Battistini. Hopefully you can get Ali Battistini healthy and get her back on track as she was her freshman year. As that one is taken for a strike one and one. Battistini won Mount West Pitcher of the Week at one point. She had her struggles too but she was you could see the potential there and that was a big loss for the Rebels. So they return a lot of talent, a lot of potential that could be coming to this team next year as that one is taken high two and one. Drake is on second. Obviously, you never know what you can get in the recruiting world. What head coach Lisa Dodd will bring in next year as the 2 1 pitch is taken outside 3 and 1. See, big priority trying to replace Edinger, trying to replace Brianna Gatlin. Clark on deck for the Spartans. We are scoreless here at Eller Media Stadium in the top of the sixth. The 3-1. That one is taken low for ball four. Second walk given up by Edinger in this inning. As Harrison will go talk to her ace. And head coach Lisa Dodd will go talk to Edinger. Pitch count right now is at 68. Now with runners on second and first with one out. That will bring up Cassidy Clark, the freshman second baseman, who's 0 for 2 on the day. Still no hits given up by Edinger. San Jose State coming into this game. First in Mount West, 35 and 15. UNLV tied for last, 23 and 26. Their record in conference play, 6 and 15. San Jose State, 15 and 6. Surprising stat here for San Jose State. They only played 11 games at home this year. Played a lot of games. In neutral sites, UNLV 13-11 at home. 24 games. They will have played 27 by the time this series ends as Clark is set. Edinger is set. Big at bat here. Probably the biggest at bat for San Jose State in this game. The first pitch. That one taken outside 1-0. Now you talk about how good Edinger has been. This is kind of the time where it starts to unravel for her. Those couple walks, you get a double or a triple. Just one base hit can ruin such a good game as that one is taken inside for a strike. One and one. Drake is on second, Watt on first, the pitch. That one is sent into left, right center field for a base hit. They're going to send Drake home. The throw is cut off by Navarro, and the first hit for San Jose State leads to their first run of the game. The Spartans take a 1-0 lead here in the top of the six. Watt heads over to third as Clark picks up the RBI, her first hit.
for Clark. That is the 25th RBI on the year. As Madison Arin will be up to bat. The first pitch. That one is taken outside for a strike. 0-1. Do up for UNLV in the bottom of the six will be the three, four, and five hitters. The 0 1. That one is popped up. Harrison, easy play for her behind the plate in the foul territory. Big out for Edinger and UNLV. Two outs now. As that will bring up the center fielder, Brittany. A botchery. The center fielder is 0 for 2 on the day. The first pitch. That one is taken for a strike. 0 and 1. On deck is Jenner as we have time called. Looks like we have a pitch runner for San Jose State. They will. Julia Gallegos. Or check that Julia Gallegos will be pitch running for Clark. Runners on first and third. San Jose State has broken this pitching duel between Edinger and Linford. A couple walks by Edinger and a base hit into right center field. The 0-1 pitch, that one is taken high, 1-1. One one. Watt is on third. A 1 1 pitch. That one is outside 2 and 1. Two outs in the inning. A botchery. With runners in scoring position just 173 with two outs 233 on the year. The 2 1 pitch coming from Edinger. That one is just foul down the first baseline. Good play there by Navarro. Count is now even. Two out. Two and two, two outs. Runners on first and third. San Jose State up one nothing here in the top of the sixth. Off of a single from Cassidy Clark. She sent that one into right center field. The two two pitch. That one is sent down the first baseline foul. On deck. For San Jose State is Jenner. The 2-2. Two -two. That one on the inside. Count is full of three and two. You know, the baseball. Big series against the in-state rivals UNR. As this one... Coming down to the wire for the Governor Series is UNLV looking to win its fifth straight. UNR looking for its first ever as that one is sent down the right field line, but it'll be foul by about 20 feet. Do it all over again, three and two. He's about the closest it's ever been in the history of the Governor Series. A tiebreaker, of course, is the winner of the Fremont Cannon, and right now that is belongs to UNR. The 3 2. That one sent down the third baseline. It is fair. Good play there by Valdez. I thought it looked fair. Uh, I guess not. I don't play an umpire disagrees. I did not see that ball really travel foul, but nonetheless, we'll do it all over again. Another good defensive play there by the Rebels to no avail. Valdez. Great diving attempt. A 3-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The fifth strikeout for Morgan Enninger. 
But San Jose State answers. They get one run on one hit, no errors. We head to the bottom of the six. Spartans are up one nothing. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in the bottom of the six. San Jose State up one nothing as they finally broke through on Morgan Edinger as Alyssa Navarro will be up to bat. Navarro one for two on the day as Caitlin Linford will be back out for her sixth inning of work. She's had five innings, six hits, no runs, no earned, no walks, three strikeouts. Her pitch count right now is at 69. It'll be Navarro, Federi, and Harrison, the three, four, and five hitters for UNLV, the 0 1 pitch. That one is taken for a strike. 0-2. Oh one hit, one run, no errors for San Jose State. Zero runs, six hits, no errors for UNLV. The 0-2 pitch. That one called strike three. Fourth strikeout for Linford. She gets Navarro looking. One out here in the bottom of the six. As that brings up the second baseman, Justine Federi. Federi on the day, 0 for 1, reached on a fielder's choice in the first inning, and then at a sacrifice bunt in the fourth. The first pitch from Linford is taken for a strike, 0 and 1. Probably the most I've seen in a game calling for UNLV. How many batters have struck out looking between San Jose State and UNLV as the 0-1 pitch, a bunt attempt by Federi got the defense startled just a bit. That one off the catcher's glove. Count one and one. Give credit to both pitchers today. They they've had their best stuff. The one one. That one is sent into left center field. Federi. Is bobbled by the center fielder, but Federi will head back over to first. Seventh hit for UNLV. First for Federi. He has a runner on first with one out for the catcher, Kylie Harrison. Harrison on the day, 0 for 2. Good contact there by Federi. Thought that one might get in the gap, but Abotchlery was able to cut it off. It looks like we'll have a pitch runner for Federi. Looks like number three, Jamie Hatch, the sophomore. As Kylie Harrison will be up to bat, UNLV trying to answer back to the one run. San Jose State got in the top of the six. Harrison 0 for 2 on the day. First pitch, a check swing, did not go around on the inside. 1 and 0. Do it for San Jose State in the top of the seventh will be the six, seven, and eight hitters. UNLV right now 2 for 10 with runners on, 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. The 1 0. And that one taken for a strike. 1 and 1. Looks like Chrissy Omalza on deck for UNLV. A 1 1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Combined nine strikeouts between both pitchers. We're in the top five in strikeouts in Mountain West play. Linford is set, the 1 2. That one is sent to second. Clark has it. There's a chance for a double play here. Nope. Drake 
Easily taps on the bag as Hatch is out. Force out. Two outs. Now in the bottom of the sixth as Chris Malzo will be up to bat for UNLV. Regular pitch hitter for head coach Lisa Dodd. Omalza, good batting average. 308 is her average. Eight hits and 26 plate appearances. Nine RBIs to her name. So when she makes contact, it's been deadly for opposing teams. As San Jose State will call out their defensive plays here. As Linford will try to get out of this inning. Another scoreless inning. She's given up seven hits. But all of them have been singles. No extra base hits for UNLV so far. The first pitch. Ooh, big swing and a miss. Omalza was way out in front on that one. 0-1. Vela on deck for UNLV. Linford is set. The 0 1 pitch outside. 1 and 1. Harrison on first is a perfect 2 for 2 on the year. And stolen base opportunities. The 1-1. One, one. Omalza will send that one into center field. A botchler, he has it. And that will end the inning. UNLV gets one hit, but still nothing across the board. We head to the top of the seven. San Jose State is up 1-0. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium here in the top of the seventh. San Jose State is up 1-0 on UNLV. Morgan Enninger back out for her seventh inning of work as Chelsea Jenner will be up to bat the left fielder. 0 for 2 on the day. As that one is taken for a strike, 0-1 for UNLV. Final opportunity to either tie or win the game. It will be the 7-8-9 hitters, Vela, Bueno, and Valdez. Bueno and Valdez have a hit apiece, apiece as that one is popped up. Vela, easy play for her as she moves over. Quick out number one here in the top of the seventh. As that will bring up the designated player, Kristen Hefley. Hefley on the day, 0 for 2. The first pitch is low for a ball, 1-0. San Jose State got their lone run in the top of the sixth. 
After a couple walks by Morgan Enninger, then a single into right center field by Clark. And one on the outside for a ball 2-0. and Only hit given up by Edinger so far. UNLV has gotten seven hits. As he mentioned, the timely hitting, you want to get some of those seven hits. You want some extra base hits. UNLV has had 40 doubles on the year. That is ninth in the Mount West and four triples. That is ninth. Home runs, 21, also ninth in the Mount West. Nine out of nine. That's something that Rebels will look to improve on next year as the count is 3-0. and oh. That one is a chopper to second. Federi has it, flips it over to first in time, and two outs as Heffley swings on a 3-0 pitch. Goes in Edinger's way. Two outs for Alyssa Avila. Avila on the day, 0 for 1, walked in the third inning, then grounded out to third in the fifth. Or check that, popped up to Valdez in the fifth as the first pitch inside for a ball 1-0. Drake on deck for San Jose State. Spartan is trying to get their magic number to clinch down to one. San Diego State won today against UNR. They trail the Spartans by two games as that one is taken low for a ball 2-0. Two outs in the inning. The 2 0. That one is in there for a strike. 2 and 1. San Jose State with runners on. 1 for 9. But with runners in scoring position, 1 for 3. They've had no 2 out hits so far. The 2 1. That one is popped up out of play. Valdez giving chase, but it goes into the trees. Count now even 2 and 2. 2 outs. Beautiful dusk to evening here at Eller Media Stadium. Uh, last week it, for the baseball team, Friday was about 99. Saturday was about 60. As that one is taken high, 3-2. and two. Went from the blistering summer to a little bit of winter. And yeah, their game delayed by about an hour due to rain. Unfortunately, the summer is coming here in Vegas where it's going to be about 100 degrees for the next 60 days as that one is sent into center field. Bueno has it, clamps it down, and that is a 1-2-3 inning for Morgan Enninger as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Last chance for UNLV. Spartans are up 1-0. Welcome back to Eller Media Stadium. Last chance for UNLV to tie or extend or win this game. Emily Vela will be up to bat. She took a first pitch for a ball. Caitlin Linford looking for another complete game. That'd be her 17th complete game on the year. As Vela will foul that one out of play. One and one.
Linford has been a part of four shutouts on the year. It'll be the 7 8 9 hitters for UNLV. The 1 1 pitch. Vela will send that one to third. Esminger has it. Flips it over to first. A fastball there. One out. And that will bring up Miranda Bueno. Bueno on the day. The center fielder. One for two. Single in her last plate appearance. Continuing the rally. Double Nico. Bueno's got her average up to 310 on the year. The first pitch to Bueno is a big swing and a miss for a strike. 0 oh 1. Linford so far, 6 and a third. Seven hits, no runs, no earned, no walks, four strikeouts. Her pitch count right now is at 85. Valdez on deck for UNLV. The 0-1, Bueno fouls that one back into the net. Count 0-2. And, San Jose State trying to improve to 36-15 and 15 on the year, 16-6 and 6 in Mountain West play. UNLV, if they lose here today, will finish with a below 500 record. It'll be the fifth straight year head coach Lisa Dodd has not been able to crack the 500 mark. Closest she got, 26 and 28 in her second year. A 1 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fifth strikeout for Linford and UNLV down to their last out here. And that will bring up Valdez, last chance for UNLV. Valdez, one for two, reached on an infield single in the third inning and flew out into shallow left field in the fifth inning. Valdez showing bunt, defense coming in. She takes the ball, 1-0. and oh. On deck is Janine Petmecki, so Valdez can get on base. Petmecki is a very dangerous hitter. Three home runs for Petmecki. Behind her is Brianna Gallen. She has four, and then Alyssa Navarro has seven. That one is to short. Drake has it, fires it over to first in time. And that will end the game. UNLV loses a heartbreaker here. Game one against San Jose State. The Spartans win it 1-0 here at Elamita Stadium. We'll be right back with our post-game analysis and highlights here on the Mount West Network. Spartans win 1-0. Welcome back to Elamedia Stadium. Game one done here. San Jose State wins a pitching duel. They win one nothing against UNLV. Caitlin Linford gets the win. Improves to 23-7 and seven on the year. That 23rd win gives her a tie for first in the Mountain West. Her stat line, seven innings, seven hits. No runs, no earn, no walks, five strikeouts was the theme for UNLV. They got runners on base but just could not get the timely hitting. Extra base hit that they were hoping for a mistake by San Jose State. It was a perfectly played game on both ends, and you got to feel for Morgan Enninger. Got the loss. Seven innings, one hit, one run, one earn, three walks, five strikeouts. She falls to 12-17 and 17 on the year. Enninger gave up the lone run in the six after giving up a couple walks. It was Clark for San Jose State. The lone hit, only one hit given up, but it was important. A single into right field. Got the run going. Janine Petmecki was the best hitter on the day for UNLV. Two and three. A two for three on the day. 
for San Jose State, they improved to 36 and 15, 16 and 6 in Mountain West play. For the Rebels, they fall to 23 and 27, 6 and 16 in Mountain West play. We'll have game two here on the Mountain West Network. Scheduled time is 6 p.m. So I am Wyatt Tomchek saying good night from Eller Media Stadium. Where the final score is San Jose State 1, UNLV nothing. For more live Mount West broadcast features and information, go to CampusInsiders.com. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Mount West Network on Campus Insiders. Good night, everyone. <laughs>